Hi, welcome to Getting It On With Bonnie. My guests today are Celeste and Danielle. They're from celesteanddanielle.com. They do sexuality workshops in the Bay Area. You work with couples, men, and women. So tell yes. me a little bit about what you guys do. Yeah, we do sex therapy and coaching with individuals and couples, and then we also do group workshops like you were saying. And what do you guys do in those workshops that are for men or women? And we're I'm also talking about teaching. The Oh, okay. Uh, the Institute for Advanced Study of Human Sexuality, so we're professor there, okay. and we teach the sexological body work training. We teach people how to be somatic sex educators and use hands-on approaches to sexuality. So when you say a hands-on approach, can you give me an example? Yeah, it's basically facilitated erotic trance, so basically you're touching the person all over their body. You know, anything can come. Sometimes it's like increased pleasure, sometimes it's a release of shame, so we, we train new people to do this kind of body work. And you find that a lot of people had issues around sexuality with shame? Oh gosh, yeah. yes. All what are some of the good. main problems that you guys hear in your classes or one-on-one -on -one sessions? I think growing up in this culture is, by definition, traumatizing to people's sexuality. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we're told from the beginning that we're supposed to cover our genitals, that they're not okay, that they're ugly. Um, so just right there, the fact that you can be open, you know, that you're not draped, right, you can actually be open, um, takes away a lot of shame. Like mm -hmm. just an acceptance of the genitals. And not, it doesn't even have to be sexual. I had a client crying and tell me I never felt so Are your clients before. surprised when they, that they're so comfortable yeah. with these types of exercises? Because I would think, I myself would be like, no, my God, I'm so embarrassed. Uh, but I, I think they're surprised that there's so much potential of healing there and mm -hmm. so much potential of love and acceptance because the, you know it's, the, it's, it can be very confusing between arousal yes. and healing. So I think that they're very excited when it's like, oh my gosh, I didn't even think it's going to go to this place of amazing healing. Yeah, so we have both women's and men's mm -hmm. workshops and then we also have couples workshops. Okay. And right now what we have is a women's group starting up. We can talk about intimacy. We can masturbate as a group and learn more about our bodies. And so it really okay, depends. Okay, so I have to stop you. Here, we, you go. Say, here we go again. <laughs> it always comes back to masturbating as a group. Yeah. <laughs> so are, are women and men, are they comfortable when they come to your class? Are they sort of taken aback by what they're expected and taught to do? So it's really important for you to know that before we get to any of these kinds of things, we create so much context and so much comfort and so much, you know, we're never going to jump right to those kinds of things because nobody's ready for them. I wouldn't be with a group of people that I didn't know. Maybe a woman, she'll let go. She'll, you know, as you said, you had one client who was crying. It was just so overwhelming. How does it work when it's a man? It, he was a man. Oh my God, yes. good for you. Good for you. He was completely felt like held and accepted for his. Whole so it's not an emasculating experience. Oh, on the contrary. Quite yeah. the opposite. Yes. Yeah. It, it, men kind of like have this message in our culture that they're supposed to, you know, not express emotions mm -hmm. and not like hold back and stuff like this. And I feel oh. that this experience for them is like, oh, but you know, they're human beings. Men are Some human of them. beings. Some. Most of them, actually. Well, I know that there is your upcoming annual event called Sensualité which is actually going to be going on here mm -hmm. in San Francisco at 111 Mina Gallery. Mm -hmm. And that is on February 15th, yes. right around Valentine's Day. Yes. And for some of our audience who might be interested in going, can you tell us what we might find? So one of the main things that we focus on in our coaching is partner connection. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start out with something called like an instant passion dance mm -hmm. class and where it's really, really easy to do the steps, and so it's all about just how to move with your partner and totally connect with them. Let's say you're a horrible dancer. Yeah, Gosh. you have to know, here's what you need to know how to do. Step on your right foot, and then step on your left, and then step on your right foot again. Okay, so anybody can do this. <laughs> <laughs> if you can do that, you can take this dance class and have a really amazing experience, and give, you know, if you're the leader, give your partner a really amazing experience, and chicks dig dancing. I think we know this. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything that you you could show me today, like teach me, something that maybe might happen at the party? That we could do a little demo? Um, well, <laughs> instead of teaching you something that's going to happen at the party, I think it would be much more fun and exciting to teach you something that happens in our men's workshop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> in the workshop, in our level two workshop, we talk about passion and intensity. Like Which is like, woman, show me one woman who doesn't want to have passion and intensity in a relationship, in a sexual relationship. My grandmother. <laughs> Again, I'm yeah, sure I don't she know, maybe at one point, maybe when she was 20. You haven't met her. <laughs> okay, aside from your grandmother, who may have wanted it had she not gotten all sorts of terrible messages about what she was yes. supposed to do or not do. Yeah. Um, but most women, especially this day and age, they want somebody who can really 
take them, right? Yeah, take charge. Take charge, show them yeah. that passion. Or sometimes you teach hair pulling in yes. some of your workshops. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, we're actually teaching our level three workshop. For okay, so this we're going off some steps. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we them, uh, this workshop is about role play and dominance and helping men to get into their, their dominant, dominant energy. Yeah, you guys have to give me your card. I think. Oh yeah. So for this demonstration, am I supposed to uh, be myself or yeah. pretend I'm a man? You're a woman. I'm You're a, a woman. woman. Done. That's easy enough for okay. I can do that. What you need yeah. to pretend is that I'm a man. All right, so, so whichever man you want me to be, yeah. no, I'm going right. to show her some passion. <laughs> when you're ready, you're just going to open your eyes, and you're going to just walk really slowly towards me. Okay. <laughs> if you want more of this, <laughs> you can go. <laughs> Did you feel any intensity I, in your yeah, body? Yeah, I felt your intensity, I have yeah. to say. I felt I felt more uh, cheating. Silly. Yeah. You but you know, that's silly. because I probably haven't gone through all the steps that most people in your classes would have gone through. Mm -hmm. I was just sort of thrown into it. But I did feel your intensity and your passion. And I have to say, it's something that I wouldn't mind being able to emulate. Uh -huh. Like feel it. Yeah. And receive from your partner. Yeah. Because I don't think I've received that type of passion in a while. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds absolutely amazing, and I'm so glad you guys came to talk to me today. And I hope that all of you out there, please go to 111 Mina on February 15th for San Solite. It's going to be a fantastic event. We have all sorts of performers and tantric tea ceremony. So. Sushi. I don't know what a tantric tea ceremony is, so I know all of it there. <laughs> thank you guys again, and thank you for watching.